Grace Langley lived in a quiet neighborhood where all the houses looked identical, but her garden was different. At 60, she loved caring for her roses and lilies every morning. The bright colors and sweet smells filled her days, which had been calm since her husband passed away five years ago. While Grace was trimming her rose bushes one warm afternoon, a moving truck stopped at the house next door. Curious, she wiped her hands on her apron and watched as people unloaded furniture and boxes. Among them, a young man appeared. He looked about 18, tall and slim, with dark hair shining in the sunlight. Later that day, as Grace sipped iced tea on her porch, the young man walked up to her fence. Hello, he called out with a friendly wave. I'm Jake Foster. Just moved in next door. Grace smiled warmly. Hello, Jake. I'm Grace Langley. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thanks, he replied, his eyes admiring her blooming garden. Your flowers are amazing. Did you plant all these yourself? She nodded a touch of pride in her eyes. Yes, gardening is my passion. Jake leaned on the fence, meeting her gaze. I've always wanted to learn about gardening. Maybe you could teach me. Grace felt a slight blush on her cheeks. I'd be happy to show you around the garden sometime. Over the next few weeks, Jake became a regular visitor. He often joined Grace in the garden, eager to learn about each plant. They laughed and shared stories. Grace talked about her late husband and her love for classical music, while Jake shared his dreams of becoming a photographer and his love for art. As the sun set and cast a golden glow over the garden one evening, Jake arrived with a camera hanging around his neck. I was hoping to capture the sunset among your flowers, he said. Of course, Grace replied. The light is perfect right now. As Jake took photos, Grace watched him, noticing how his eyes lit up with each shot. You have a real talent, she remarked. He glanced at her with a playful smile. The beauty is all here. I'm just capturing it. Feeling a flutter in her stomach, Grace looked away. Would you like some tea? She offered. I'd love some, he said, following her inside. In the cozy kitchen, they sat across from each other, the air filled with chamomile. You know, Jake began, spending time here has been the best part of my days. Grace chuckled softly. A young man like you must have plenty of exciting things to do. He shook his head. Honestly, I prefer the peace here. And the company. Their eyes met, and the age difference seemed to disappear momentarily. Grace experienced a flutter in her heart. You're very kind, she said softly. Jake reached across the table, his fingers lightly touching hers. I'm just being honest. Surprised by the gesture, Grace gently pulled her hand back. I think the tea is getting cold, she murmured. The days went on, each one bringing them closer. One afternoon, as they worked side by side planting new seeds, Jake wiped a smudge of dirt from Grace's cheek. There, he said softly, his touch lingering. Grace felt warmth spread through her. Thank you, she whispered. He looked into her eyes. Grace, I've been wanting to tell you something. Her heart beat faster. What is this? I feel a connection with you. Something I've never felt before, he admitted. She stepped back, shaking her head. Jake, I'm old enough to be your grandmother. He smiled gently. Age is just a number. I care about who you are. People wouldn't understand, she insisted. I don't care what others think, he replied firmly. Do you? Grace hesitated, emotions swirling inside her. It's complicated. Jake moved closer. Let me make it simple, he said, leaning in. Before she could protest, his lips met hers in a gentle kiss. Time seemed to stand still as she allowed herself to enjoy the moment. Pulling away, she looked into his sincere eyes. This isn't right, she said, though her voice was soft. It feels right to me, Jake whispered. Feeling overwhelmed, Grace turned away. I need some time to think. Take all the time you need, he replied softly. I'm here. That night, Grace lay awake her mind replaying the kiss. She hadn't felt such feelings in years but fear and doubt clouded her thoughts. She avoided the garden the following day and stayed inside to sort through old photos and memories. A knock at the door startled her. Opening it, she found Jake holding a bouquet of freshly picked flowers. 
I thought these might brighten your day, he said with a hopeful smile. She accepted the flowers, her resolve weakening. Jake, we need to talk. Then let's talk, he said, stepping inside. They sat in the living room, sunlight streaming through the curtains. I'm not sure this is fair to you, Grace began. You have your whole life ahead of you, and I want to spend it with people who make me happy, he countered. You make me happy, she sighed deeply. This isn't just about us. Society won't accept a relationship like this. He reached for her hand. Why should we let others decide how we feel? Grace looked into his eyes, seeing sincerity and determination. I don't want you to regret this later. I won't, he assured her. But I need to know if you feel the same way. Her defenses crumbled. I do, she admitted. But I'm scared. Let's face it together, Jake said, gently squeezing her hand. Before she could respond, he leaned in again, kissing her softly yet passionately. This time, she didn't pull away. She let herself be swept up in the moment, her hands resting on his shoulders as the kiss deepened. When they finally parted, both were breathless. Stay with me, Jake whispered. Grace nodded slowly. Yes, she agreed, a small smile forming. They spent the afternoon wrapped in each other's company, sharing stories and dreams. As evening fell, they sat on the porch watching the stars appear. Jake draped his arm around her shoulders, and she rested her head against him, feeling a happiness she hadn't known in years. But as the night grew darker, so did her thoughts. What happens now? She asked quietly. We take it one day at a time, he replied, as long as we're honest with each other. She looked up at him, her eyes filled with hope and fear. I don't want to lose you. You won't, he promised, kissing her forehead. After a long time, Grace believed in happiness. Despite the uncertainties, she felt a spark reigniting within her, a desire to embrace life once more. Over the next few days, Grace and Jake spent more time together. They shared meals, walked in the park, and talked about everything. One afternoon, while sitting on a bench by a small pond, Jake turned to Grace. I've been thinking, he said softly, maybe we could go on a trip together, get away from everything for a while. Grace looked at him with surprise. A trip? Where would we go? Anywhere you'd like, Jake replied with a smile. Maybe a quiet beach town or a cabin in the mountains. She hesitated. I don't know, Jake. What would people think? He gently took her hand. Does it really matter? What's important is that we're happy. She gazed at the water. I suppose you're right. It just feels sudden. Jake squeezed her hand lightly. We can take things slow. I just want to spend time with you. Grace smiled softly. All right, let's do it. They decided to visit a small seaside town a few hours away. They packed their bags and set off in Jake's car the following weekend. The drive was filled with laughter and music, and Grace felt an excitement she hadn't experienced in years. When they arrived, the fresh sea air greeted them. Their cottage was cozy, with a view of the ocean. As they settled in, Jake suggested a walk on the beach. The sun was setting, painting the sky with pink and orange hues. As they strolled along the shore, the waves gently touched their feet. Jake stopped and looked at Grace. This is perfect, he said. She smiled. It is. Thank you for bringing me here. He stepped closer, brushing a strand of hair from her face. I'm glad you're here with me. He leaned in, and they shared a gentle kiss, the sound of the waves making the moment even more special. Later that evening, they sat by a small fire outside the cottage. Tell me about your dreams. Jake said. Grace thought for a moment. I used to dream of traveling the world, seeing new places, but life took a different turn. It's not too late, he encouraged. We can go anywhere you want. She chuckled softly. You're full of big ideas. He smiled. Life is too short not to chase our dreams. She looked into his eyes. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's time I started living again. The next day, they explored the town visited little shops, and enjoyed the local food. People gave them curious looks everywhere they went, but Jake didn't notice. Grace, however, felt a bit uneasy. That evening, back at the cottage, she shared her worries. People are staring at us, Jake, 
He shrugged. Let them. They don't know us. But it makes me uncomfortable, she admitted. I feel like they're judging us. He took her hands. Grace, the only thing that matters is how we feel. Are you happy? She nodded slowly. Yes, I am. Then that's all that counts, he said frowning. She smiled. You have a way of making everything seem simple. He grinned. Maybe it is simple. As the days passed, Grace began to relax more. She found herself laughing freely and enjoying each moment. One night, as they watched the stars, she rested her head on Jake's shoulder. I haven't felt this alive in years, she confessed. He wrapped his arm around her. I'm happy to hear that. She looked up at him. Thank you for bringing joy back into my life. He gazed down at her. You've done the same for me. Their faces were close, and they shared a tender kiss. The warmth between them grew, and Grace felt a deep connection forming. But as their trip came to an end, worries began to surface. On the drive home, Grace grew quiet. Noticing her silence, Jake asked, What's on your mind? She sighed. I'm concerned about what will happen when we get back. What if people don't accept us? We'll face it together, he assured her. When they returned, whispers had already started in their neighborhood. Some neighbors avoided Grace, and others gave her disapproving looks. One afternoon, her friend Margaret visited. Grace, people are talking, she said bluntly. I know, Grace replied calmly. Is it true about you and that young man? Margaret pressed. Grace met her gaze. If you're asking whether Jake and I are together, yes. Margaret looked shocked. But he's so young. He's an adult, Grace pointed out. And we care about each other. I just don't want you to get hurt, Margaret said softly. I appreciate your concern, Grace said, touching her friend's arm. But this is my choice. After Margaret left, Grace felt a mix of emotions. She knew there would be challenges ahead. When Jake came over that evening, she told him about the conversation. Are you sure you're okay with this? He asked. She took a deep breath. It's not going to be easy, but I won't let others decide my happiness. He smiled warmly. That's the spirit. They decided to face the town together. They attended local events, walked openly in the neighborhood, and held their heads high. While some people continued to gossip, others began to accept their relationship. One day, Jake surprised Grace with a gift. It was a photo album filled with pictures from their trip. I thought we could add more memories to it, he said. She flipped through the pages, tears welling up in her eyes. It's beautiful. He took her hand. I want to build a life with you, Grace. She looked at him, her heart full. I want that too. As they embraced her, Grace knew that, despite the obstacles, she had found true happiness. Together, they would face whatever came their way, confident in their love. In the following weeks, Grace and Jake settled into a harmonious routine. Their days were filled with shared laughter, collaborative work on their garden book, and quiet moments of understanding. One evening, after finalizing the last chapter of their book, Jake suggested celebrating their accomplishment. How about a special dinner tonight? He proposed with a gleam in his eye. Grace smiled warmly. That sounds lovely. Any particular place in mind? I was thinking we could cook together, he replied. Make something we've never tried before. An adventure in the kitchen, she chuckled. I'm all for it. They spent the following few hours selecting recipes, gathering ingredients, and playfully debating over spices. The kitchen is filled with the rich aromas of herbs and simmering sauces. Music played softly in the background as they cooked, setting a relaxed atmosphere. Try this, Jake said offering her a taste from the spoon. Grace closed her eyes as the flavors danced on her tongue. Delicious, she declared. You have quite the talent, he grinned. Only when I have a good sous chef. They set the table with care, lighting candles to add a touch of elegance. Over dinner, they reminisced about how far they'd come, from neighbors tending a garden to partners in life and work. Remember the first time we met? Grace mused. You were so eager to learn about roses. Jake laughed softly. You were patient enough to teach me, even when I overworked them. She reached across the table to squeeze his hand. 
Those were good times. After dessert, Jake stood and extended his hand. May I have this dance? Grace accepted, and they moved to the living room where the music continued to play. They swayed gently, the world outside fading away. The warmth of his touch and the steady heartbeat brought a sense of peace she hadn't felt in years. As the song ended, Jake looked into her eyes. There's nowhere else I'd rather be than here with you. She felt a surge of emotion. You make every moment special, she whispered. He leaned in, their lips meeting in a tender kiss. The softness quickly gave way to a deeper connection as they embraced the feelings they'd been nurturing. Jake's hands moved gently along her back, drawing her closer. Grace responded by wrapping her arms around his neck, the barriers between them dissolving. Are you sure? He asked softly, searching her gaze. She nodded, her eyes reflecting trust and affection. I've never been more sure. They moved together toward the staircase, the path lit by the soft glow of candlelight. In the quiet sanctuary of their bedroom, they allowed themselves to fully express the love that had grown between them. Their movements were gentle and respectful, each moment filled with care and mutual appreciation. Jake brushed a kiss against her shoulder, his fingertips tracing light patterns on her skin. You're incredible, he murmured. Grace smiled, her heart full. You make me feel alive. They shared a night of closeness where words were unnecessary, and the depth of their connection spoke volumes. It was a union of bodies and souls, each finding solace and joy in the other. The following day, sunlight filtered through the curtains, casting a warm glow across the room. Grace awoke to find Jake already up, preparing breakfast. The aroma of fresh coffee and baked pastries filled the air. Good morning. He greeted her with a cheerful smile. I thought I'd surprise you. She wrapped a robe around herself and joined him at the table. You didn't have to do all this, she said appreciatively. I wanted to, he replied. It's a special day. She raised an eyebrow playfully. And what makes today so special? He took a seat beside her. Every day with you is special, but today marks our book's official release. Her eyes widened. Is it already launch day? Time has flown by. He nodded. I thought we could visit the bookstore later and see it on the shelves. That would be wonderful, she agreed, excitement bubbling. After breakfast, they dressed and headed to the local bookstore. Walking in, they immediately spotted their book displayed prominently. The cover featured a vibrant photograph of their garden, capturing the essence of their shared passion. Grace picked up a copy, running her fingers over the embossed title. We really did it, she said softly. Jake placed an arm around her shoulders. We did. Together. A few customers nearby noticed them and approached. Are you the authors? A woman asked eagerly. We are, Grace confirmed with a modest smile. I just bought your book, the woman continued. It's wonderful. The photos and the writing complement each other perfectly. Thank you, Jake replied. We poured our hearts into it. Grace felt a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment as they chatted with readers. Sharing their work with others added another layer of meaning to their journey. Later that evening, they hosted a small gathering at their home to celebrate with close friends. Laughter and conversation filled the air as they toasted to success and new beginnings. Margaret, who had reconnected with Grace, raised her glass. To Grace and Jake, whose love story is as beautiful as their garden, hear, hear. The guests echoed, clinking glasses. After the guests had departed, Grace and Jake sat together in the garden under a canopy of stars. The night was serene, the scent of night-blooming flowers enveloping them. I have something for you, Jake said, reaching into his pocket. Grace looked at him curiously as he pulled out a small, elegantly wrapped box. What's this? Open it and see, he encouraged. She untied the ribbon and opened the box to find a delicate necklace with a pendant shaped like a rose. Oh, Jake, it's lovely. He helped her put it on. A symbol of how our love has blossomed, he explained. Touched, she turned to face him. You continue to amaze me. He took her hands in his. Grace, these past months have been the happiest of my life. You've taught me so much about love, patience, and joy. She felt tears of happiness welling up, and you've brought adventure 
and passion back into mine. They shared a gentle kiss, the world around them silent except for the soft rustle of leaves. Jake's gaze held hers. I look forward to every moment we have together. Me too, she whispered. He stood up, extending his hand. Care to dance? There's no music, she laughed lightly. Then we'll dance to the rhythm of our hearts, he replied. They moved gracefully across the garden path, swaying to an unspoken melody. The intimacy of the moment was profound, a culmination of their shared experiences and the love that had grown between them. As the night air grew more relaxed, they retreated indoors. Sitting by the fireplace, they reflected on their journey. Do you ever think about how unconventional our story is? Grace asked thoughtfully. Jake considered her question. Perhaps, but I believe that love doesn't adhere to conventions. It finds us when we least expect it. She nodded. You're right. I wouldn't change anything about how we got here. He took her hand, his expression earnest. Neither would I. They spent the rest of the evening wrapped in each other's arms, content with the knowledge that they had found something special. The following weeks were filled with new projects and shared goals. They started hosting gardening workshops, combining Grace's expertise with Jake's artistic flair. Their home became a hub of creativity and learning, attracting people from all walks of life. One afternoon, as they were preparing for a workshop, Jake paused to watch Grace arrange a bouquet. You know, he said thoughtfully, our story could inspire others. She looked up. A hint of a smile on her lips. You think so? I do, he affirmed. Perhaps we could write about it someday. She considered the idea. Maybe we will. It would be worth it if it could help others embrace their own paths. He stepped closer, wrapping an arm around her waist. You continue to inspire me every day. She leaned into him. And you bring so much joy into my life. They stood there momentarily, savoring the peace and fulfillment. They had found together. As evening approached, they decided to walk the neighborhood leisurely. The sky was painted with hues of orange and pink, and the air filled with the scent of blooming flowers. Remember when we first met? Jake mused. I was fascinated by your garden, and I was intrigued by your enthusiasm. She recalled with a smile. He chuckled. Who would have thought it would lead us here? Life is full of beautiful surprises, she agreed. They returned home as the stars began to twinkle. Feeling a sense of spontaneity, Jake suggested they set up a telescope he had stored away. I didn't know you were interested in stargazing, Grace remarked as they adjusted the equipment. There's a lot you don't know about me, he teased. They spent the next hour exploring the night sky, marveling at constellations and distant galaxies, sharing stories and myths associated with the stars. They found yet another layer of connection. They settled on a blanket in the yard as the night grew late. Grace rested her head on Jake's shoulder. Thank you for this, she said softly. For what? he asked. For reminding me how wondrous the world can be. He kissed the top of her head. It's more wondrous with you by my side. They lay there in comfortable silence, the gentle sounds of the night surrounding them. Jake? Grace began his satanty. Yes. Do you ever worry about the future? About how others might perceive us? He took a moment before responding. I used to, but not anymore. What matters most is how we feel and the life we build together. She sighed contentedly. I needed to hear that. He turned to face her. We're a team, Grace. We'll face whatever comes together. She smiled, reassured. You're right. Together. They shared a tender kiss under the blanket of stars reaffirming their commitment to one another. As they prepared to head inside, Jake helped her to her feet. Race you to the door, he challenged playfully. She laughed. You're on. They sprinted across the yard, laughter echoing into the night. Reaching the door simultaneously, they paused to catch their breath. Looks like a tie, Grace declared. I suppose we'll have to settle it another way, Jake suggested with a mischievous grin. Oh. And how do you propose we do that? He leaned in, his voice low. I have a few ideas. She felt a delightful shiver run through her. Care to share them? Maybe I'll show you instead, he replied. They moved inside, the door closing softly behind them. The house was quiet, 
and the ambience was intimate. Jake took her hand, leading her upstairs with gentle confidence. They embraced in the soft glow of their bedroom, the warmth between them growing. Jake's fingers traced delicate patterns along her back, eliciting a smile from Grace. You know how to make me feel special, she whispered. Because you are special, he replied, his gaze filled with affection. They shared a night of closeness and intimacy, each moment cherished. Their connection transcended words, built on trust and a profound understanding. They lay side by side as dawn approached, content and at peace. Here's to many more nights like this, Jake said softly. Many more, Grace agreed, her eyes reflecting the first light of morning. Together, they faced the future with hope and confidence, grateful for the love they had found and the life they were building together.